Hey guys, welcome back. So right now I'm just showing you a quick before shot of my home before we did anything to it. The only thing I did do already was paint the doors black because they originally were white. So my husband is just quickly power washing this patio. The wood on here is kind of bad. Um, so we figured for a temporary fix we can, you know, power wash it and stain it until we are ready to tackle that project and take it down. So it's a few days later and I already off camera stained most of the patio. Right now, I'm going to be staining while kind of helping. <laughs> Occasionally, my husband put these rocking chairs together that I found at Academy. So, we picked up this gel stain, and I think it took me like two or three cans to finish the whole patio. And the patio is not that big, guys, but this wood soaked it up. So that rug wasn't quite fit for this area, so I didn't use it there. And my husband is just finishing off the stain. The only thing we didn't do was stain underneath the inside of the patio. I thought it wouldn't be worth it because we plan on, you know, taking it down and rebuilding something else. So I'm just cleaning off the patio really quickly and getting it ready so I can lay down this outdoor rug. So it's like a few weeks later and if you guys haven't noticed, I took off the screen door. Well, not me, my husband did. But <laughs> I painted the door black and we're also just hanging up some string lights. All of the outdoor lights were like this in this house um, you know this is an older house so we switched them all out for a more modern style so this is the third outdoor light that we switched out so far but this is the second one that had a hornet's nest in there it's not active but it also had some giant spider webs in there as well and I honestly don't know how my husband was touching this with his bare hands because I could not. Now this nest was so dry and caked in there that it took a while to get out. And it also was coming out in just tiny pieces and chunks everywhere. Look at all that guys. That's crazy. Now that that's all cleaned out of there, we can take the old one off and start putting on the new light fixture. I wanted to show you guys what the new lights look like all lit up. So if you've been following our DIY along, you know that this German smear has already been completed, but here's a progress shot. So it's been a few weeks since we've done any of the home projects. We've been waiting on these shutters to come in, and now that they finally have, we can keep moving. So that first shutter was a bit challenging. We kind of messed up a little bit, but we were able to save it and refix it. So these shutters were so frustrating that after the shutter we got up, we stopped for like a week. So now it's a week later. I would love to know what you guys do while your significant other tackles the growing list of things you have for them to do. It got dark really fast guys, and there was a nail stuck in there. We also saw this huge pig. It was just roaming in our front yard. It crossed the street. I thought it was gonna get hit by a car. We do live in the country, so when I saw that pig at first, I was so scared because I thought it was a warthog. It was too dark to do anything else last night, so we waited till the next morning to finish off the shutter. We also took off the screen door on this door and painted it black as well and added a new light fixture. I wanted to take you guys on another quick before shot. 
So I already painted that door black and changed the light fixture out. Now if you guys can see that this green door is up on this one and my husband is just spraying down some weed killer. And now guys, here's the after. I want to know what you guys think about this before and after transformation. Now, if you guys have been following us along on this journey, you know that we're doing this ourselves with DIY Fixer Upper. So this is just a progress video of where we left off so far. We have a few more things we're wanting to do to the front of the house, but since the cold weather is approaching, we have paused a few things right now. Using the German smear technique allowed us to give our home the biggest transformation. Painting existing doors, adding shutters, adding new light fixtures, and also trimming up existing hatches. This was so budget friendly guys, not only doing the work ourselves, but keeping the existing features of the house made it so. I honestly love the way it came out and I can't wait to show you guys what's in store. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.